Open Book with Marg the Princess Warrior. This is Open Book, the show where marginally interesting Canadian personalities talk about books we've paid them to read. My guests are Margaret Atwood. Well, it's a pleasure to finally be on a show with a woman who is less feminine than me. Also joining us, Mike Malhotra, Canada's best-known after-dinner speaker. Well, uh, thanks, Marg, but sometimes I speak before dinner, too. Uh, once I spoke during dessert. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure, Mike, I'm sure that's almost interesting. But for the sake of the country and all those voters looking for an alternative to the liberal dictatorship, we have to move on. We're all God-fearing nationalists here, and heaven knows the amount of research that goes into a show like this to assure a lively down-home discussion about the kind of literature that affects me and the world as I perceive it. My God, as every Newfoundland knows, there are so many good works of literature out there, and it's a devil of a chore to pick out examples that everyone can relate to in their own, or more importantly, in my own way, but I think that's obvious to all. Maybe not, but that's a little consequence. Our first book is a cutting, satirical look at the geopolitical situation of America. It's an in-depth, insightful examination of the United States government called Dude, Where's My Country by Michael Moore. I, I like this book a lot, even though it didn't have many pictures. Well, I found the book appallingly tedious. The author droned on and on and on and on about totally unbelievable characters. Well, well yes, well, that may be so, but it's still a fine book. I read every word of it, and I loved it, and that's good enough for me, I can tell you that. Totally I it was really enough! Desist or feel the wrath of my mighty sword! <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, I'm cool with that. Good. <laughs> I want to know what you think about this book, because I think it's a devastating commentary on the down creep of American society. And by down creep, I'm specifically talking about George W. My God, is there no end to that man's stupidity. He's the head down creep. Well, let's talk about an interesting book, something intellectually stimulating, something like, uh, oh, say, Oryx and Crake, my latest novel. It's an examination of humanity's future, a bleak and terrifying place that has been destroyed by a wake of ecological disaster. It's the feel-good book of the year. Well, I certainly hope it wins you the Hooker Prize. Booker Prize. Whatever. My point is... Yes, dearie, and I know you have plenty of points. It's impossible to turn on the tube these days without some sort of insightful commentary by the legendary Margaret Deadwood. Oh, we're all waiting with bated breath for the next poetic gem of wisdom from the Lady Oracle. No, she's the only one entitled to have an opinion on the Canadian literary scene, which, in my opinion, has never been the same since we lost poor old Mordecai. My God, that man knew how to turn a phrase. That's the trouble with the literary scene today. It's all talk, talk, talk with no content to speak of. Now, when I was growing up as a girl, I couldn't get enough of Margaret Lawrence. Bless her dear feminist soul. That woman has no 